man, Joffe is back in his motorhome. Where else would he be on a Wednesday night, midweek, back in his motorhome? And I thought it was about time I'd come on and have a chat, really. Uh, so what are we up to? We are, so I've been, um, lots of things going on. Um, so we are... Yeah, as you know, sort of looking to do another trip later on in September kind of time. Uh, that's our next little, uh, it's going to be like a Euro trip. Anyway, so the weekend, we were actually discuss we were talking about some old like memories of uh, previous trips, stuff like that. And it was a mere 14 years ago, and I've just managed to root out my little folder, a little, um, a little file on the uh, road trip that we did to the US of A. It was just a crying shame I wouldn't like document in them trips. But anyway, you can't have it all. But the memories are still etched in my memory bank for like eternity. It's just them sort of trips and not only the not only the places we went to, some of the people you meet on them kind of trips, very, very sociable people. Uh, Americans are very, very sociable. And uh, just the other day when we were talking to the guys out in um, Amsterdam um, from different parts of America, and uh, the sociability of American people are really genuine, and uh, we love it. So um, it, it's kind of like um, got some uh, little uh, cogs ticking in the old memory bank. I'm just going to actually open this uh, folder um, and just uh, show you um, a couple of the stickers that I've still got. Arizona, Epic, Grand Canyon, Williams, Route 66, Flagstaff, Seligman, Kingman, Oatman, Laughlin, um, yeah, <laughs> just to name a few. <laughs> so uh, on another one there, like, and this has probably got all them places on. Phoenix, Arizona, Flagstaff. We went up through uh, Sedona, the Red Rock Mountains. Look at that sticker. I'm actually, um, I'm sort of just uh, also with my little memory bank. If this some of these trips ever get relived, um, some of the Mo Hotel Adventure stickers are going to be absolutely crazy, the limited edition ones. Anyway, I'm going to sling them on there a minute, and then uh, I'm just going to just quickly, randomly... Um, so we've got um, uh, Fla oh, Flagstaff in the vicinity, little vis visitor's book there. It's always like nice to sort of have a little... Oh, and uh, you know what? Yeah, my name is Joff, Joff Kingman, and uh, we actually went to uh, Kingman, Arizona, and uh, I just couldn't wait. At that stage of the game, I went into Mother Road, Harley-Davidson, and uh, we got... Um, I think I ended up with about six Harley-Davidson T-shirts. Mother Road, Kingman, Arizona. You just, like, live the dream when you're out there. Um, what else have I got in this little folder? I've got a uh, uh, Grand Canyon map, the area of the Grand Canyon map. We have Bodie Ghost Town, uh, which is up near north of the... Um, crikey. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> Hang on. There it is. Just got my phone out. Didn't even look at the map. Uh, my memory's a little bit short these days sometimes. And uh, it's a Yosemite where Yogi Bear comes from, isn't it? But uh, we came uh, from Bodie Ghost Town. We absolutely descended into Yosemite National Park. And it was absolutely outstanding. I have still got a little notepad there from the uh, Hacienda Hotel that we had in Los Angeles when we dropped in on a plane. Um, and uh, so we have a another few odd maps kicking about of the area I don't know what this one let's just have a look at this one um, while we're at it it's all interesting oh it's Arizona this is Arizona look this is Arizona all the places it's just like so nice to look back on and uh, um, yeah I just sort of love you know me with maps um, so there's our little uh, Arizona map just thrown in here. Um, downtown Las Vegas visitors guide. Uh, I think I had a lot more of this. I had to thin it down. I had so much stuff. Um, and it's and it's always like nice to get them little mementos. Uh, this was actually um, some um, couple of coasters from the um, Riverside, the Don Laughlin Resort, uh, the Riverside Resort Hotel Casino on the banks of the Colorado River. It was absolutely 
incredible. We, me and Caroline, had strawberry daiquiris on a boat trip going up to the uh, up to, up the river to the uh, the dam up there. And um, yes, fit pictures taken, cowboy hats on that we were always like permanently wearing anyway. <laughs> so uh, just getting right into the uh, and this this is why you know I have got my shirt on as well. I'm getting right into the vibe of it. And um, and even down. Oh, look at that. There it is, July the 29th, 2010, the USS Riverside Cruise. I've actually still got the tickets. Look at that. That is absolute. $10. Ten dollars cruise up the river, strawberry daiquiris. It was absolutely mental. And not only that, I've still got tickets. We went to see um, Desperado, uh, an Eagles tribute band. That, believe it or not, I was actually having a little browse the other day, and they are still playing the resort still to this day. And I'm like, and we were in there, and it was. Um, Hotel California, Take It Easy, Desperate, all them songs from the Eagles. It was um, truly just some that that kind of like that is never gonna ever leave me. That night we had a we had a um, big we had a uh, so we we got we got this here the um, the buffet we had a buffet dinner um, up in the resort. Uh, so we did like a show and uh, buffet, and uh, I think it was like twenty nine dollars or something for each ticket and we had one of the best nights ever and uh, yeah then like I say their memories of that um, is never gonna leave me I, I was actually looking on YouTube of a couple of videos of around that area um, the Don Laughlin Resort the Riverside Casino we actually stayed in the Tropicana the opposite side of the road and um, yeah and we were uh, so we actually um, they've got like valet parking where you just like pull up and drop your car and they just take it away and just give you a ticket and then just ring, when you're leaving you just ring up the number give them the number and they pull it up outside and you just jump back in and off you go it's a rent car but uh, anyway um, I'm gonna uh, carry on from there and tell you guys that basically I think we were shocked when it came in at a mere $29 to stay at the Tropicana Resort uh, in Laughlin back in them days. And I think it actually came out at something like 13 UK pounds. And we had a really nice room. It was comfortable. It was beautiful. And uh, so that's going to lead me on then. So I got a little bit itchy. I thought, right, I'll just uh, check out. Let's have a look at um, motorhome life in uh, America. What, what, uh, so what, what happens there then? So, um, all these uh, companies like Indy Campers, Cruise America are doing RV rental. Even smaller camper vans now they're doing uh, they're doing um, four, they're doing like uh, four wheel drives with uh, roof tents and that kind of thing. And um, so you, the the options are very you know there's plenty of options out there. But uh, I started look I started having a quick look and uh, straight away I was kind of like um, it, it's pretty expensive. Uh, we were looking at like a mediocre medium mediocre kind of like van out there and uh, you are looking like a uh, hundred pounds a night like hovering around that and we were kind of like wow that's uh, you know and then uh, then a lot of it is like tagged on the top you've got to think about like so there's like no bedding uh, so we'd like need some like bedding and, and then obviously they supply you bedding for a charge they supply you pots and pans and um, knives and forks cutlery sets uh, and uh, then obviously maybe you've got not any chairs to sit outside there's all these kind of like extra little add-ons and then again there is the um, added it depending on how many miles if you go over the mileage tariff you might get racked up with more costs of actually um, going over the mileage and getting yeah so uh, there's a lot of like hidden costs as well so uh, it was kind of like you know like at the end of the day we kind of like uh, okay what is the accommodation like in Laughlin now then and uh, what is the accommodation like in Las Vegas uh, well, prices so we had a little, had a little shifty around and uh, basically the Laughlin was uh, coming in at around 31 UK pounds do you, do you know what I mean so again I think if you're going for like a period of time I always look at the period of time you're going so if you can kind of like scoop some like uh, more budgety styles and then that leads you to um, push 
on uh, some extra ones so if you saved on them and then when you get some like highlights and you want to sort of like oh this looks like a nice place to stay we can uh, squeeze it on that end that's how that's how i kind of like look at trips like this you know um it's a little bit the same with like motorhome um uh, campings and stuff like that you know if you get some cheaper ones you get some free ones occasionally then you can uh, push the boat out and get some really nice ones so and that is the other little thing as well well, obviously then I started looking at RV parks in America so where are you going to park the darn thing you know so yeah maybe you can get away with a bit of wild camping out in the desert and, yeah, and this that and the other but um, so I was checking out a few RV parks and obviously you still have to pay for some of them RV parks and and some of them believe it or not I was kind of like crikey you know sixty dollars for an rv park um okay yeah so um there's a lot to think about um but just gonna um i'm just like sort of popping this out there just uh, anybody got any um information you know anybody done that anybody uh how, how did you find it um yeah we're we're sort of like the last time we actually went we went in a rent car so we just had a rent car did um, accommodation on the way and nothing particularly booked I think we just had a drop-in hotel in Los Angeles that was pre-booked and then we just uh, uh, winged it from there and uh, we did another one down in this similar kind of thing down in um, Florida and in the uh, the Key West uh, we went we picked up a rent car in Miami and uh, and it's one of them things where you don't want the rent car straight away because you need to get a little bit of, you fly into Miami you get a little bit of respite get over that jet lag um, and then you've got time to investigate Miami a little bit and uh, then probably two days later you go and pick up your rent car let's get driving it's a bit like that so that's what we've sort of previously done um, and uh, it seems to have like worked pretty well and uh, there was no feeling and uh, like I say there's standard kind of cars out there um, a, ra a ragtop uh, Mustang and we drove uh, down the Keys to Key West and, uh, and we had the roof down and um, it, it again I've got like memories of um, of that trip again that uh, never leave you and um, some epic trips epic people um, so I think I'm going to leave this video there. I'm just going to um, just sort of like, oh, that's how I was like kind of feeling today. And uh, I'm sort of, you know, I'm, I'm always kind of planning road trips. And, and back then I was always planning, we were, pl you know, that that's what I've been doing uh, for the best part of my life is uh, planning trips. So, um, and it's just always nice to, um, like I say, we're always looking for value for money. And uh, it always comes back to the same old scenario of... Um, crikey we've got a bloody motorhome and uh, the Americans would absolutely die to be able to drive to Paris we are so lucky British people are so lucky we are blessed living in the southwest of England we can poodle down the road and we can we can get over to Paris we can get into Spain Barcelona um, Madrid all these in Seville all these incredible pla places or we can drive to Venice we can drive to Rome we can drive to Munich we've got some of the best cities in Europe that we can drive to that how lucky are we um, and we still want to go to America what do you think guys I'm going to leave the video there uh, definitely give us a comment on this and uh, it might sort of air some more sort of information and uh, loads more to talk about so I'm going to um, go and rip this video happy Wednesday night guys and uh, have a nice day y'all <laughs>